Hi, it's Carla from What If NC. So today I'm participating in a hop with the Art Joy of Sharing group. Uh, the March hop is based on mixed media. That's the prompt for it. So I am going to work on making a journal, a mixed media journal, um, with epoxy because that's kind of my niche. I'm starting off with using some molds for journal front um, covers um, and these molds I pre-prepared by putting in a small amount of epoxy on the bottom so it's halfway full. Um, I'm going to then decorate on here uh, trying some different techniques and I'm not really sure what's going to work. Uh, I think we'll just play and see what things we like to do with it um, and find out what we can make, okay? So let's play. So we now have our Mandela design. I'm going to put some matte media only because I'm going to think I'm going to use some alcohol inks and I don't want the alcohol to um, have the Mandela run. Okay, so the uh, matte coat is kind of clear or uh, kind of dried at this point. And I've got some tools out to play with. So I have a couple alcohol inks. Uh, one is pistachio, and the other one is a teal color.
So just um, as a heads up, I haven't started mixing my epoxy. They're, they're poured but not stirred yet. Um, you'll hear a fan in the background and I'll probably do a voiceover for this section. Um, only because I'll have to be wearing a mask and uh, at, with the ventilation going in the area and of course gloves, uh, just some personal protective equipment while working with epoxy, just so I'm not breathing in the fumes from the epoxy. Um, I am going to use a couple different mica powders. I've got um, a silver and this is a black diamond mica powder. It's a blue green. I think it'll kind of go with the colors we've got in here. I'm just going to use a little bit of this in, in a few areas in a little bit of a different design just to get that layering effect that, uh, that I'm wanting to, to, to try. Um, so I'll have clear, silver, and a blue-green. And of course I'm going to be putting them in Ziploc bags, snipping off a little bit of a corner so I've kind of got uh, kind of like a piping bag if you were making a cake, but a very runny cake. So, here we go. All right, we're back, day two. So these have cured overnight. Um, my table apparently wasn't level, so I have a little bit of a lip um, that I may have to fix, but here we go for the reveal. Oh, perfect. Oh, I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me see if I can get some white to go underneath it. 
Here, I got some blue. A blue shell. That turned out really good. And you can see the, here's the design. But I just think they turned out gorgeous. All right, so let me do some trimming on them. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some, I have some Canson uh, multimedia paper um, and I'm gonna cut some more blanks like these. I have, um, I'm just gonna cut them to size. And I also have a, um, One of these where I could cut the um, punch the little holes into it. So we're at the point we can finally put our book together. I'm so excited. So I'm going to use these as my outside edges. Um, you know, I could also have it be done the opposite way, which is a very pretty book as well, with the mandala being on the inside cover, but. Uh, if the person that gets it does it once it the other way, they can flip it around. Um, so the way this works is I have these um, little connectors and uh, they do take a little bit of strength and uh, I have RA so sometimes my hands don't like to work too well. So, um, so if it looks hard, it's, it's more me than it is how hard it is. <laughs> but they kind of have a little latch that hooks together and you can take, um, let me make sure I'm gonna do this right. This is my back cover. I can put those through the holes. And these through the holes. Got that dust on my hands. Um, trying to get them open a little bit more so now I can put the paper on. The really nice part about um, using these spines, especially for people that are um, mixed media artists, is that when you're done, this journal lays completely flat. So the paper that I cut, I had about 20 pages, give or take. Um, I'll see how that looks and I can always add more or send extras to my friend. And there's my front cover that I'll put on. And I can just hook these through and get them to snap. Excuse me. There we go. Snap. All right. So let me get it lined up a little bit. Sometimes these uh, twist a little bit, so you can twist them. There is our finished book. And like I said, the nice part about this type of backing is if you want to work on the journal, it's completely flat. I hope you enjoyed making this little journal cover with me. I really enjoyed it. Talk to you later.